Okay, I'm Dutch Van Kirk, and I was the navigator on the Enola Gay when we dropped the first atomic bomb on Hiroshima, August 6, 1945, and that's my claim to fame. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about what it was like to drop that bomb. We had three airplanes on the mission to drop the bomb. The bomb weighed 9,800 pounds. We were told that if we were at least we at least nine miles away, the bomb may blow up the airplane. So all of our training and all of our efforts and everything were aimed at getting at least nine miles away from the bomb slant range when it exploded. We were at 33,000 feet. It took 43 seconds from the time the bomb left the airplane until it exploded at an altitude of about 1,800 feet above the ground. Everybody in the airplane was counting or looking at their watches or timing in some way, shape, or form. And I think we'd all concluded that it was probably going to be a dud. And then suddenly there was a bright flash within the airplane. It looked like the, a uh, flash bulb going off in a closet. And shortly, shortly after that flash went off, we kept going away from it, and shortly after that, the sh first shock wave hit us, and it was measured at about three and a half Gs. That doesn't seem like much to a fighter pilot, but in the B-29 at 30,000 feet, gave us a pretty damn good jolt. We got two jolts like that, and then we were sure we weren't going to get any more. We turned around to see what it looked at about the city of Hiroshima. The large white cloud you've all seen pictures of was already up well above our altitude. I decimated it was up to 45,000 feet at least already and still going. And the, around the base of that cloud, the entire city of Hiroshima was, was covered with thick black smoke and dust. We can make no visual observation. And we flew a little bit in the southeast quadrant of uh, the city trying to make visual observation. It was obvious after a short time we weren't not going to be able to, so we just turned around and went home. And the only thing that happened there that was interesting was there are more generals and admirals there than I'd ever seen in one place in my life. And that's how what that was the story of dog dropping the first atomic bomb.